Hey friends, it's Miss Jasmine again, and today we're gonna do a little bit of arts and crafts. Are you guys excited? I sure am. So we're just gonna need a couple of tools today, but today we're gonna do the letter B. B is for base. <laughs> That's right, B is for base, B is for violet, B is for violin. So today for our arts and crafts, we're gonna do B is for base. Ready? So today for our arts and craft, we're just gonna need a construction paper. I'm gonna use blue. We need strips of paper. I'm gonna use pink and red, and this is gonna be for our flower. And this is a great time for you guys to use your scissors as a fine motor skill. We're gonna need a little triangle, and this is gonna be our base. The letter B, two green strips, and these are going to be our flower stems. The circles are gonna be part of our flower. And I have some foam shapes here, they're butterflies, but feel free to use any butterflies you have at home. You could do your do-it-your-own butterfly crafts. But this is just an extra prop to make the, the arts and craft a little bit more colorful. So first we're gonna take our V and we're gonna glue it onto our paper. So I'm gonna take the glue, and I wanna make sure I put glue everywhere so that it sticks very well. And we're gonna glue it down on our paper. There we go. Then I'm going to take my flower stems, which are our green parts, and I'm going to put glue. And I wanna make one flower a little bit higher than the other, so I'm gonna put this one kind of low. And press down really hard so it sticks. And this one I'm gonna put up a little bit higher. Just like this. I'm gonna press down. Then we're gonna take our little triangle. Here it is, and I'm gonna put glue and that's gonna cover the stems down at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and take our yellow triangle, and that's gonna be our base, and I'm gonna put glue and glue it down at the bottom like this. Next. We're gonna take our strips of paper that you guys cut out so beautifully. I'm gonna use pink and red, but feel free to use whatever color you like. And basically what we're gonna do is put a little bit of glue at the end, and we're going to fold it. So it should look like this. And we're just gonna hold it so that it stays with glue. And you're gonna do this a couple times and that's what's gonna fill up your flower, just like this. So once we've done that with a couple of our flowers, here I have all of mine. I'm going to take one of our circles and I'm gonna put glue in the middle of our circle and I'm just gonna start gluing down the little flower petals that we've just glued and I'm just gonna put it all around in the shape of a circle. And as you can see here, I'm alternating colors so that it's more of a pattern. So here we have, that's right, pink. Then, that's right, then we have red. So what color comes next? Pink. Good job, guys. What color comes next? That's right, red. And we're just gonna keep going over and over. So once it's fully filled, I'm gonna put a little bit of more glue and we're gonna keep putting more flower petals and that's so that our flower looks really, really full. And I wanna keep going with the same pattern. After we've had two layers of flower petals, I'm gonna put glue one more time and I'm gonna put the orange circle on top and that's gonna cover our flower. So your flower should look like this. Beautiful flowers. So I'm gonna use the smaller flower to put on the smaller stem. So I'm just gonna put lots of glue here to make sure it stays and sticks. Press down. Then I'm gonna put some more glue up here. And put our other flower. And here is our V for base. And I'm gonna use our little butterfly prop so I can put it around because during springtime, all the bugs come out, the butterflies, the flies, the bees. And here's our little VS for base. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, I love it. 
Well, that's it for our craft today. Isn't that a beautiful base? I sure do love it. Well, happy springtime. Bye-bye.